Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Saturday, April 20th, 2019. we got a free pick coming up in just a moment in the NBA. First, a quick note, uh, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, real cool way to do so. You click on the link below this video and get set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages, and again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video, free $60 account. Use it on any of our daily packages over at DocSports.com. All right, last night, 2-1 and one with premium picks. We cashed in the NBA with Oklahoma City. We'll head into Saturday on a 23-10 and 10 run. It's about 70% winners, up over $4,000 for $100 per unit betters. And on Saturday, I've got a seven-unit main event, just our second of the playoffs. Our first hit easily with the Toronto Raptors the other day as a 10-point favorite. Uh, they covered, they won easily in blowout fashion. And uh, we are now going back to March 16th, going back to the regular season, on an 80% run with our seven-unit plays in the NBA, going all the way back to day one this season, back in late October, right through today, uh, we, are, we went 65% with our NBA seven-unit plays for the entire NBA season. We've got a seven-unit going on Saturday, second one of the playoffs, and we look to go to 2-0. and Don't miss out. We've been red hot with these plays for the entire season. We don't plan on letting up now. Uh, but we'll we'll have that play, by the way, on Saturday morning over at DocSports.com. We'll also have two plays from baseball. Last night, again, 2-1 and one overall, one in the NBA with the Thunder. I did lose in, ba in baseball with the Cardinals, and we won the nice big underdog in the NHL with the Colorado Avalanche. On Saturday, not only the seven-unit play in the NBA, but also we're going to have two plays, two four-unit plays in baseball on Saturday. So eight units of action on the diamond, and we'll be in NHL action also and uh, again, that big plus dollar fifty-five winner last night with the Colorado Avalanche. Here's the thing about the Avs: they can win the Western Conference. They are so darn big and quick. They're as quick as Vegas. So if Vegas gets by San Jose, it's going to be a very interesting series. They're as fast as Vegas. They're big, and I think that's going to be the difference as they move forward. But we'll see if Vegas, first of all, can get past San Jose on Sunday. All right, let's get to uh, a little bit of what's going on in the NBA as far as the betting report is concerned. Four games taking place on Saturday. Uh, Philadelphia laying a point and a half at Brooklyn. Uh, betting on that one ticket-wise, 50-50. Denver and San Antonio, the Spurs at home laying three and a half. They're getting over 65% of the tickets are the Spurs right now, minus the points. Milwaukee laying eight and a half, even some nines out there at Detroit. About 75% of the action or the tickets on the Milwaukee Bucks, minus the points. Blake Griffin looks like he's probably not going to play uh, but he was said to be day-to-day -day by Dwayne Casey on Friday in shoot-arounds. So we'll wait and see for that. And then about 70% of the tickets so far on the Houston Rockets, plus two and a half over the Utah Jazz. Houston, of course, going into Salt Lake up two games to none. And that brings me to what I talked about a little bit yesterday. These first half lines, uh, which going into last postseason, were on a 64-32 and 32 run uh, with a few pushes. They went 5-5 five and five last year because the books started increasing uh, the lines on the home teams and when they were favorites and decreasing their numbers when they were underdogs at home. Basically, the system is this. Home teams down 2 nothing in the NBA, favorites or dogs, and you play, them, play on them in the first half, and they went 64-32 and 32 with some pushes going into last year. Went 5-5 five and five last year, and as we said in yesterday's report, listen, Oklahoma City, yeah, they covered the first half last night, but I don't know too many people who want to lay 6.5 when the full game line is 7.5. That was the case last night. As far as this particular game, Utah down 0-2 going back home. The game, the full game line, they're a two-and-a-half point favorite. There's a couple of books offshore where you have to lay more in the first half than you do for the full game. The Utah Jazz are as much as minus three first half in a couple of offshore books. They're two-and-a-half for the most part in Vegas, and they're laying two-and-a-half for the full game. Crazy stuff. Haven't seen that before. Maybe it happened last year in one of those ten games that I overlooked it, but uh, we won't be in action in the first half in that Houston-Utah Jazz matchup. We won't be in action in the Milwaukee-Detroit matchup. Now, there's another way to compare it. Milwaukee laying eight and a half, nine. If you like Detroit in the first half, down two games to none, you're only getting four in the first half. So just craziness, adjustments, the books make them. It's up to you whether you want to play them or not. For me, I'm just going to hold back. We talked about Indiana being in a decent spot last night as they were laying two, two and a half in the first half. Some pushed, some lost in that first half last night with the Indiana Pacers. Not going to play the two games uh, first half games on, on Saturday that qualify. Uh, as far as my free pick is concerned, oh, by the way, I wanted to mention the NFL stuff we're going to talk about. 
uh, a different team each and every day for 32 days. So wait till Monday's video because I'm, I might not sound bad. I'm a lot better than I was yesterday getting over this head cold, but it's kind of tough trying to get through it and hoping that my voice is going to be through this at the end of the video. So we'll wait for Monday morning to kick those off. 32 NFL teams over 32 days. We'll talk about uh, the schedule, what it means to us, and over under wins totals. Let's get to our free pick for Saturday's card. It is the matchup between Denver and San Antonio. And I know it's a huge game, obviously, for the Denver Nuggets. But listen, San Antonio's outplayed them in 11 of 12 quarters. We were fortunate to get that win with Denver the other night in Game 2. Uh, they came from behind to get the win 114-105, laying seven, seven and a half points in that one. But looked like they had no chance at one point late in the second half to get that covered. So again, all but one quarter out of the 12, San Antonio has looked like the much better team. Derek White, uh, DeRosa, these two guys were incredible last time out in Game 3. And not only was Derek White great on the offensive end for Coach uh, for Coach Pop, but also on the defensive end where he completely shut down Jamal Murray. So it's going to be up, the, up to the Nuggets to make adjustments. Maybe they will. I don't think they'll be able to for the full four quarters. We like San Antonio uh, minus the 3.5, our free pick, our opinion in Saturday's action, the San Antonio Spurs, minus the points. All right, recapping what's going on for us on Saturday. Of course, as I mentioned, two baseball plays, one NHL play, and don't forget about that seven-unit main event, 65% on the season, 1-0 in the playoffs, 23-10 and overall NBA run with the last 33. Seven-unit play available Saturday morning with all our picks over at DocSports.com. All right, that's going to do it for today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, we'll be right back here Sunday around 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here Sunday morning. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.